thefootballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our college football game of the week preview between the San Jose State Spartans and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Spartans. The San Jose State Spartans are coming off a of bye week and their last game was a 34-13 loss to Stanford, so they definitely want to get back on a winning track. And David Fells, the quarterback, has been efficient and doing a great job of spreading the ball around. He has to keep that up this week versus Minnesota. Now the run game must get going. Only 3.8 yards of carry won't cut it, especially against a team like Minnesota that can get pressure on a quarterback. Now defensively, I've been impressed with the front seven versus the run, but they haven't got off the field. They have to be able to get teams off the field if they want to be effective this week versus the Golden Gophers. Now we look at the Gophers in this ball game. Defensively, they're fundamentally sound and they don't get beat out of position, but can they get to the quarterback with some consistency? That's gonna be the biggest question and the thing you wanna look out for in this ball game versus the Spartans. Now Minnesota can dominate on both sides of the line of scrimmage. They're a very strong run first team, but the passing game is inconsistent. If they're gonna win this ball game and have a productive year in the Big 10, that passing game will have to get a lot better in order to back teams up out of that box. The X Factor for the Spartans will be their front seven. Can they stop the running game? If they can put Minnesota in second and long, third and long situations, this is a team that has a chance to go on the road and pull off in a mild upset versus a Big Ten opponent. The X Factor for the Gophers is similar in a sense to what San Jose State has to do. They have to get off the field as well, but they have to get pressure on the quarterback. David Fells is one of the more accurate passers in college football. If they give him time in the pocket, he will pick them apart in the secondary. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for San Jose State. They have to put David Fells on the move. Let's not forget he's very athletic. Move that pocket for him and that way he'll be able to consistently get the football downfield and they have to win on first down defensively. I alluded to it earlier. Minnesota is a team that struggles to throw the football with consistency. Put these guys in backed up situations and they can have a chance. And my third point also ties into my second. They have to be able to zone blitz the quarterback of Minnesota. Force him into some errant passes, into some bad decisions and that way they can come away with some turnovers or at least some bad at passes. Now for the Golden Gophers in this ball game, you want to stay active at the line of scrimmage. David Fells is a guy that can flatline his passes so you can get tip passes at the line of scrimmage. And also quarterback Philip Nelson, his passing rhythm is key. Start off small, work your way intermediate, then take the shots deep down the field. And that's how you ease a young struggling quarterback into the ball game. And you want to force David Fells to attack the middle of the field right where safety Brock Vereen is located. Here's a guy that's an excellent ball hawk, shows tremendous range. So you want to force Phil to go over the middle. That way you can come away with some turnovers. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to look out for in this ball game. And there's a bevy of talent that's going to be on display. You look at quarterback David Phil's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. Ben Ben with Carey, an outstanding cornerback, big time playmaker for the Spartans. And I like their linebackers, Vince Buhagir and Keith Smith. Center Nicholas Casper is a guy that's undersized but can't play guard or center. And Noel Grigsby is the number one leading receiver for David Fells, his favorite target. This is a guy that does catch everything and is dangerous after the catch. Now for Minnesota, you look at Rashid Hageman, one of the best defensive tackles. I think he's at least top three in the country. 6'6", 3'11", a guy that does a great job at the point of attack. And I already mentioned Brock Vereen, the outstanding safety, shows tremendous range from sideline to sideline. Jeff Garcia led San Jose State to back-to-back -back winning seasons in 1991 and 1992, and when he left the university, he was an all-time career offensive yardage leader with over 7,200 and was also named to the 1992 All-American team. Before he became known for his defensive expertise, Tony Dungeon was an outstanding quarterback for the University of Minnesota from 1973 to 1976 and had his best season statistically in 1975, throwing 15 touchdowns and had a passer rating of 120.8. I like Minnesota in this ball game. This battle will be won up front. They have a stout defensive line going against a lighter offensive front of San Jose State. And I know they're going to come out with a lot of emotion trying to win one for head coach Jerry Kill, who suffered a seizure last weekend. So look for this team to play inspired football offensively, but still continue to play dominant defensively.